Okay, so it's now um 9:37 p.m. and um this is like I'm going to try to make this my last video for the night. And so um I'm just settling in right now and I'm still confused about Hurricane Ian. You know, if some people are saying that, oh, it passed over already, or some people saying that it's, um, you know, some people saying it's passed over already, or some people saying, still saying to prepare, that we should prepare and stuff. You know, oh, everything was so quiet until the instant I started the video, now they got the noise harassment. That loud bass, it didn't start until immediately after I started this video. So, um, so some, come on, man. It was quiet just before I started this video. So, um, so, I mean... I mean, um, so I don't know. I'm hearing conflicting information. And I checked Google weather earlier. It was trying to say that um, it was just going to be cloudy or, what, or partially cloudy, but it had some fat, hard raindrops twice, like once at like about 530 and then it stopped for about 10 minutes. Come on, man. And then it started again about 6 o'clock. And then rained for hard for like 15 more minutes. And so, um... So, I, I mean, um... So, yeah, I'm... Well, so far tonight, everything looks normal here. But people were saying that, um, well, as I was trying to say earlier, people were trying to say that, oh, well, I pray to God that, um, that the cold front would come because if the cold front come, then it will weaken the hurricane and it will turn in a different direction. So it looks like, um, a cold front must be coming because the, um, I, I mean, I got these pajama like capri pants on that fit almost like shorts but it's like oh man I, I wish I would have uh I wasn't even um prepared I, I mean I'm talking about as far as for the cooler weather come on man I'm hearing loud um loud vehicles it's not like so um <clears throat> So, I, I mean, I should have put on warmer pants, but, um, I should have put on warmer pants, but, um, yeah, so I don't know what's what with this weather, but, I mean, I didn't even think of the idea, oh, to try to evacuate or well I don't have a way to evacuate you know so I mean I don't have a, a, a vehicle or a way to evacuate and then you know being targeted if you got to deal with some strangers during a hurricane and then you know, you might, the idea that your life could be at risk trying to flee a perp during the middle of a hurricane or something like that, you know. So, <clears throat> I mean, it's it, like you, even during hurricanes, you can't uh, target an individual and seem like, wow, the idea of linking up with strangers, you know, and, and the possibility of them perping you or leaving you stranded or 
of setting you up or doing who knows what, you know. So I'm still confused about what's going to go on um, for the next few days. All I know is I have to expect cold nights and cold mornings. But, um, so now I have just enough money left over for, um, for just barely breakfast tomorrow. But tonight I was only able to get help with $2. But, um, they had these Asian young kids, well, not children, but they look like they could have been 18, 19 years old. And I asked them for help, and the female ignored me. But the boy, he's he shook his head no before I can even barely get the question out. But um, I hate how the rich folks, they narcissistically mm-hmm. turn their nose up and sarc- sarcastically brag about how nobody carries cash anymore you know but the survival and prepper people um they the survival and prepper people they say um that during shit hit the fan or hard times they say cash is king you know So, come on, man. So, there was another so-called prepper YouTuber with, um, he, like, it seemed like he had 124,000 subscribers earlier, and then just that quick got all the way to 125,000 subscribers and I'm not going to say what the video is and who the person was because then the online perp is going to go try to go searching for that person. So he um, hearted and liked everybody's comment except mine. When I mentioned, when he tried to talk about reasons why people might be homeless and like I thought preppers were truthers so um I thought that preppers were truthers and I thought that a lot of truthers and preppers were ended up being targeted individuals or they would I thought they would be knowledgeable about gang stalking you know so um and people were talking about how, like throughout the years I, with my research, um, people were talk, the preppers were talking about how they would have gang stalkers who would spy and snitch on you and turn you in and set you up and, and betray you over food just because you might have be more prepared than they are or have more food than they do or something like that during um, hard times or doing the New World Order or whatever. I mean, you know. So, let's see. Yeah, I mean, well, I went to a different library today. And um, I rode the other bus for like almost three hours. And then, um, later on, you know, I ate and then I took a shower and, um, well, I took two showers. So the, the bus driver, she didn't try to spray Clorox or nothing today, but she did something passive aggressive. She didn't tell me shit, but she did something passive aggressive that she, um, what I did the video trying to show y'all the aftermath of when she let me off the bus and dropped me off right in front of a um a street sign, you know, or like 
they had you, you know the sign has the stick you know or the, like bus drivers they'll drop you in front of, off like directly in front of, and then I hate that un, feeling uncomfortable and having to squeeze through you know tight spots and stuff and um either that or they'll drop you like it started in Los Angeles that they would do evil stuff like or they wouldn't care they wouldn't be conscientious conscientious uh, conscientious about um or considerate about um where to drop you off at like they would stop like directly in front of a tree that that gang stalking um admiral security they passed by with strange headlights every single day every single night so um yeah so i was trying to say that um i w- i was trying to say that yeah they would stop in front of a pole or a tree or or you know that lady she stopped in front of a sign today i'm like you you had to get me at the last minute huh you know, I didn't tell her that, but, you know, I, re- I documented what she did, you know, but she most other than that, she for the for the rest of, you know, she left me alone. But damn, like, why couldn't I mean, she made sure she got me some kind of way, like she deliberately and on purpose let me off in front of the um. In, in front of a sign. You see the, those handicap um, signs right there and they have the pole. I mean, not the pole, but, you know, the stick. I mean, the the metal long stick that holds the sign, you know. Come on. Gang stalker and criminal. Loud music and elbow. I mean, loud music, red bandana and arm hanging out the window. You got it all. So, um, so yeah, I don't know what's going on else with this Hurricane Ian or whatever, but nobody online wanted to help, really, you know. So, you know, being targeted, you know, it's scary to trust people and stuff like that, you know. Oh. So I have athlete's foot really bad. Um, it seemed like when I went back to wearing my sneakers, it seemed like it got worse. But <clears throat> being homeless on the streets, I always got to deal with like moist, in be- moisture in between my toes, even on days that I don't have to take a bath. I mean, I'm sorry, days that I can't get to take a bath, I meant to say. I'm sleep deprived. I meant to say the days that I don't get to take a bath, I meant to say. Um, so, I'm tired and sleepy. And I guess I'll have to panhandle and ask for help up until... Next Monday, I'm supposed to get the Social Security check, and it only lasts so long, and it only goes so far. And believe it or not, I still got bills to pay, too. You know, I still got bills to pay. Um, so... I guess that was my day, you know, talking about how my day went. So, um, oh, and sometimes with this athlete's foot, my it's like in between the, my toes, it feels like as if my toes are trying to split apart or break off or crumble apart. And sometimes it would be so crippling that I can't even walk or it's it's difficult to try to walk. Also, um, just a while ago, 
they were squeezing my organs. And yesterday they were um, hitting me in the heart all afternoon and all evening. Shut up, stop. I mean, I'm telling that, that loud ass car. Um, but I was saying that, um, basically, um, yeah, all afternoon and all evening, off and on, they were hitting me in the heart with the director energy weapons. And today they were, um, j just now and earlier when I try to take a shower, they were trying to squeeze my organs. So I'm going to go for now.